From my point of view, I felt like, uh, obviously, very unprofessional. Uh, shouldn't have happened, first and foremost. But uh, I'm a big fan of, uh, you know, protecting my teammates, especially teammates that, you know, I go to war with every night. So I kind of felt like the play uh, kind of got out of control after the, the stare down at Austin Reeves by Book, then another stare down by Aiden, and the refs didn't really come in and kind of break it up. So, uh, you know, I'm not going for that stuff with, uh, with all of that. So. <laughs> As I say, defensively over the course of the game, it felt like you guys had pretty good stretches um, against a good offensive team. What did you see? And, and did, was this just, just, you know, I mean, does this feel like a game where two or three more shots fall from the perimeter and it's different? Yeah, obviously, we can always say that, you know, when you come up short offensively after a loss. But uh, I think the defensive game plan was great. I think we did what we were supposed to do. Uh, uh, you know, make or miss league. We didn't make it. They made. Uh, we didn't make shots. They made more shots than we made. And I gave them a lot of credit. When you got in the locker room, did you sense any kind of galvanization or with Austin? Or like, did you, you no, know, just a little? You know, anything that happens in the locker room is between players. So yeah, I ain't gonna talk about what happened in the locker room. On the on the court wise, at some point you're gonna get LeBron back. Uh, just just wonder what you've seen from AD these last four or five games and kind of the mindset that he's in and where you guys think you you've come as a team once you get all the pieces back. No, I mean, you say pieces, you just just LeBron. <laughs> the piece with you know. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's playing at a, you know, extraordinary level right now. Um, guys are sending double teams. He's doing it, you know, I, I think underratedly, he's doing it defensively too, uh, which he hasn't been getting a lot of credit for. You know, obviously you see offensive numbers, but he's been doing it defensively also. He's been our anchor offensively def and defensively. And, you know, we don't know how long that's going to keep going, but we hope it goes for a long time. That was a really good point that Darvin Ham made early. Lee Davis with those 37, 21, five blocks, five steals. Lonnie Walker filling up the stat sheet with the 24-point game, and Russell Westbrook off the bench had 21. The Lakers, though, fall now to 5-11 and 11 on the season. Let's head back to Phoenix. Anthony Davis right now talking to the media. Hey, D, so uh, just want to ask you about that, that play. Look like you got arm caught on Booker and obviously you stayed in the game. You had kind of a historic stat line. You had up all the steals and blocks and things like that. Uh, can you just walk us through what that was and how it ended up being all right? Uh, I don't know if I came down on his shoulder or something, um, but I hit, I guess, like my funny bone. Um, my left hand, so, you know, didn't really need it much tonight. Yeah, but... It is what it is. We talked about, you know, you wanted to maintain the level of aggression and overall impact after those three teams have played smaller and clearly able to do so tonight. Was, was it a case of just shots from the perimeter weren't falling? Did the defense seemed like it was, it was hanging in there. Um, well. Yeah, I mean, we were four for 22 from three tonight. Uh, we haven't shot the ball like that <laughs> since early in the year, so. You know, I think I think we played pretty good defense. I mean, you know, besides the third quarter, you know, we had some some turnovers and some you know questionable shots. Um, and they scored 33. You know, other than that, I mean, we were pretty pretty good defensively. Um, but you know, we didn't shoot the ball well tonight from three. Um, you know, usually when the past couple you know games, past couple weeks, we we've been shooting the ball very well. Um, Shots didn't fall tonight, but I think we, you know, pretty good overall um, in our defensive schemes and in our offense schemes. When I say we had some good looks, we just didn't drop. Austin took a, took a, took a flagrant foul from Devin Booker, and um, Hutch Beverly responded to that by pushing DeAndre Ayton. Um, would you like to see a, a teammate stand up for another teammate? And just what was your overall view? I think you also got into it with Ayton. Yeah, um, you know, we we got each other back, you know. Um, Pat is known for that, having his teammates back. Um, you know, he started talking towards the end of the game, uh, Aiden, and uh, he was talking to Pat, then somehow got directed towards me, so we back and forth, and then uh, like I, say, I think they say he actually hit Austin in the face, and um, uh, my focus was just on him, just, you know, we went back and forth and then Pat, you know, felt like he was standing standing over him, over Austin, and, you know, he did what he should do is just having the teammates back. So, um, 
you know, we never gonna let anyone stand over our teammate. Uh, you know, make make them feel like they're not a man. Like that's that's like <clears throat> disrespectful. You know what I mean, in a sense. So um, just having each other's back. Um, you know, I think that's all it was. Even though some of the names and faces have changed since uh, 2021, are there any lingering feelings between the Suns and the Lakers when you guys play? Um, it's, I mean, obviously, you know, I think me and Brian are probably the only ones here from that team. You know, they put us out in the first round, so obviously me and Brian have some you know, filling there. I mean, their team's a little different, uh, but you know, we just want to come in and win basketball games. I mean, I, we wasn't coming in thinking. I mean, at least I wasn't. You know, coming in, Brian didn't play, so I wasn't coming in thinking. You know, this is a um, team that put us out. We need to get this win. I mean, we need to get the win. You know, for our, for ourselves. You know, for the Lakers, but. Um, it wasn't any, you know, reminiscing on, you know, in the past, uh, anything like that. It, um, so when that play happens with Booker, you're down on the ground for a good period of time. Is your hand and arm kind of numb throughout that stretch? And then, like, I mean, you you've had to deal with some really unlucky stuff. Does your mind ever, in that moment, go to kind of like the, oh no, like this isn't good kind of place? Um, yeah. So. Uh, like it was, it got numb, then it just started burning from like mid bicep all the way down to my pinky and ring finger, um, and then it just like went numb and tingling where I couldn't really feel anything. So, um, and it's really the thing that so they had to let the nerve calm down. Um, well, I don't have time to let the nerve calm down, so. Um, I've hit my funny bone before, not to that magnitude, and it usually goes away in 30, 40 seconds. Um, this one was a little different, and I actually still feel it. So, um, you know, my mindset was, you know, well, it's your left hand, you know, let's get up, make the two free throws, and, you know, figure it out at half, and then uh, get ready to play in the second half. Do you have the sense that you guys are close to getting LeBron back, and, and I, you know, based on what you've seen here over these last handful of games, um, how much confidence and optimism do you have about kind of the direction? Yeah, I like I like where we've been, you know, the last three games, um, you know, play well. I think we played well tonight. We just didn't make shots. Um, From my point of view, I felt like, uh, obviously, very unprofessional. Uh, shouldn't have happened, first and foremost. But uh, I'm a big fan of, uh, you know, protecting my teammates. Especially teammates that you know I go to war with every night, so I kind of felt like the play uh, kind of got out of control after the, the stare down at Austin Reeves by Book, then another stare down by Aiden, and the refs didn't really come in and kind of break it up. So uh, you know I'm not going for that with all of that. So as I say, defensively over the course of the game, it felt like you guys had. Pretty good stretches um, against a good offensive team. What did you see? And, and did, what, was this just, you know, I mean, does this feel like a game where two or three more shots fall from the perimeter and it's different? Yeah, obviously, we can always say that, you know, when you come up short offensively after a loss. But uh, I think the defensive game plan was great. I think we did what we were supposed to do. Uh, uh, you know, make or miss league. We didn't make it. They made, uh, We didn't make shots. They made more shots than we made. And I give them a lot of credit. When you got in the locker room, did you sense any kind of galvanization or with Austin? Like, did you, you no, know, just a little? Like, you know, anything that happens in the locker room is between players. So, yeah, I ain't going to talk about what happened in the locker room. On the on the court-wise, at some point you're going to get LeBron back. Uh, just just wonder what you've seen from AD these last four or five games and kind of the mindset that he's in and where you guys think you, you've you come as a team once you get all the pieces back. No, I mean, you say pieces, you just just LeBron. <laughs> the piece with, you know, yeah. Uh, you know, he's playing at a, you know, extraordinary level right now. Um, guys are sending double teams. He's doing it, you know, I, I think underratedly, he's doing it defensively too, uh, which he hasn't been getting a lot of credit for. You know, obviously you see the offensive numbers, but he's been doing it defensively also. He's been our anchor offensively def and defensively. And, you know, we don't know how long that's going to keep going, but we hope it goes for a long time. That was a really good point that Darvin Ham made early.